day 35. I'm back outside. It's beautiful and sunny and warm and oh, it's wonderful. And I'm going to be freezing in about two days. <laughs> okay, so I am doing a excerpt. My dog. They're, my dogs are biting. <laughs> okay, so I am doing a etude, excuse me, from Thornton's 32 Universal Studies. I've never played this etude before, but what I'm working on is articulation. I need to get some fast articulation going, and I've been doing a lot of lyrical stuff recently, so I need to balance that out. So I'm gonna be doing number six, and it's got, you know, 16 notes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, bum, 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 I think it's my note, dum. Dum, da, da, dum, dum. No, that's not right. Oh, I was still off. I was a whole step off. Okay, so I wasn't quite happy with how those centerings of the notes were going, so let me just try slurring it. Okay, so things definitely felt different when I was, ooh, that was a, one of those, um, ladybugs that aren't really ladybugs, the ones that are like orange that bite you. Oh, scary. <laughs> so what felt different here definitely was going from the from the rhythm that has an eighth note and two sixteenth notes versus two sixteenth notes than an eighth note. Those feel really different. More commonly you see the eighth note and two sixteenth notes. That's a pretty common rhythm getting the two sixteenth notes and the eighth note feels a little bit awkward because it just doesn't happen as often. So it's really good to do exercises like this. All right, let's keep going. Ooh, that was unexpected. Dum, da, 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 dum. This is a really good exercise for switching up the articulation. Oh, that note was unexpected. I was saying dum da 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 dum dum, but it was dum that third. That was tricky. <laughs> so obviously, because my ears heard something else, I cracked that note. So that's why ear training is so important. If I was really paying attention, I would have heard that that was an, a B in the third. All right, here we go. Let's keep going. <laughs> Ooh, this is getting hard. So let's take that slow and we'll do it slower. that B flat. That's a weird interval. Okay, let me do it slurred one more time. Oh, I forgot where I was starting. Let's do it for our tongue. So even my flutter tonguing wasn't clean, so I need to get clearer on what the notes are in my ears. Okay, I just 
just assume that was a G. I have to turn my page. So I want to do this again and I want to make this a very clear difference between the triplets and the duples. That can get us mixed up a lot of times and we want to be super rhythmically accurate and want to make a big distinction between the duples and the triplets. So let me start on the forte again. Okay, that was a cute little a excerpt. Etude? Oh, etude. That was a cute little etude. So that was fun. I would do this over again and I would just try to make it really, really musical and make sure I'm getting in the centers of each and every pitch and making sure that I have a really, really good understanding of where the rhythm is going. So a lot of times I can get thrown off if I'm not like, usually I'm trying to be really, really in the moment, but sometimes if you're not looking ahead just a little bit, you can get tripped up. So that's what I would probably do next. All right, I will see you tomorrow. It's the day before Christmas Eve. Pretty fun times. All right, see ya.